Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I have a four foot motion sensor shop light and these are linkable up to eight units you can plug into each other. So you only need to plug them into one outlet and then you can have all, all eight of them together. It comes with a remote that you can turn it off or on, that you can change the light settings from 3000K, 4000K, 5000K. Um, it also, since the motion since it has a motion sensor, you can set the timer. So when the motion sensor detects movement, you can set the timer for one, six, ten, or thirty minutes of runtime or on time after. Uh, what else is there? Maintenance free replaces two 32 watt T8 tubes, uh, detects motion. It says from 20 feet away, but that's really a 20 foot radius cir circle from directly under the light. It only really detects 10 feet away from like directly under the light. 50,000 hours of use and starts reliably in the cold down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. This one is 50 watts. So it actually is uh, quite a bit more um, power than some of the other lights that I have. I have 32 watts and 37 watts I think. So it is a little bit brighter um, but there's a reason that I bought this and there's some really cool features about this as well which I'll show you. So let's unbox this. Basically it's relatively well boxed. You see the tube it just comes with foam at the end. foam in a bag at the other end and there should be unless somebody's taking it out there a little box inside the box it has the remote control hanging brackets eye bolts mounting screws drywall anchors and hanging chain with hooks all right so let's get that out of the way Take the foam off. So you see this side, it actually has, it has a spot where you can plug in your next light. And how long is this power cord? Cause that would be important to know. Let's measure that. So the power cord is five feet long and your light sensor or your motion sensor is right here. Okay. Now the remote comes with a battery, which is shocking, and this is what the remote looks like. It's pretty small. It's like a lot of the other LED remotes. Put that up so you can kind of read it. It has your uh, brightness, 3000K, 3, 4000K, 5000K, your timer, 1 minute, 6 minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes your motion sensor off and on, and then a power button to turn it on. All right, so very simple. It has a little plastic part here that you just pull out. There we go, take that little plastic piece out, and that blocks the battery. So now that this is out, I can use the remote. To hang this, it has these really great brackets, and these are the brackets, and you can see it just clips on. So look at this. You clip it on. Isn't that great? And you think to yourself, well, why would that be great? Well, because say you've got this, you want your light flush mount, you don't want it on chains, you can screw this right to the ceiling, this bracket, and then just stick your light to it. It's so nice. I would consider changing all my lights to these <laughs> just because I'd like to flush mount them right to the ceiling. And if you have to replace it, you just pop it off. Comes right off, nice and easy. They're linkable, you can link eight of these together. Like, what a great light. And look at the diffuser on it. It diffuses the light really well, and you don't have like a really bright LED in your face sort of thing. And I'll show you this, we're gonna hook this up, okay? So I have pre-hung the hooks here. Um, this is for, I have a larger door, a larger garage door, which I just recently put up. You can see my video on my channel. So this is the rail where everything, all the wheels run on. And back here is a frame stiffening rail. 
and that um, I what I did was I just put some self tapping screws in and hung the chain off of two links so we'll hang this up so I will take the two brackets and hang the brackets and then I will hang light okay one bracket set that there the other bracket just clip it right on see how nice and easy that is or I'm going to plug my light in some outlets that are here and then I'll have to move this cord out of the way I don't want the cord hanging down so with your remote you can turn it off on you can set the color the brightness this is 3000 that's 4000 that's 5000 I think I like 4000 the best duration time for your um, your motion sensor I'm going to click it for 10 minutes so motion sensor let's turn that on and then duration 10 minutes okay we'll see if that works alright so the light turned off and I'm going to grab my tape measure and I'm gonna walk up to the light and slowly walk up to it and see when it turns on getting close to the camera there we are so the distance here <coughs> is, you guessed it, 10 feet. I'm right at the 10 foot mark. All right, so final thoughts on these lights. I really like them, I like the diffuser. I love how they're mounted. I love the fact that they have a motion sensor if you wanna use it. You can have it off and just turn on when you flip the light switch, that's fine. That's up to you how you wanna do it. Or if, for example, you don't have um, the setup in your light socket then you know it's nice to have the motion sensor you walk into your shop it turns on um, having the remote is great you can set it up the way you want it and just overall it's really a great light so the reason I got the light is because I put in a new garage door and I don't have an overhead garage door opener so when I open the garage door, I have a new um, LiftMaster uh, garage door opener that goes on the side. So it doesn't have a light on it. So when I open the door, the light doesn't turn on. So I need these because when I open the garage door and drive my car in, these will come on. And uh, it's just really nice. So. I'm very happy with these. I really like them. I haven't had them obviously for very long. I've had the other one hooked up for a couple of weeks now and so far I'm quite happy with it. But uh, yeah, I just think it's a great product. It's just, you know, it's got everything that I want. It's linkable up to eight units. You know, you can change the color. I'd like it if you could change how um, how bright it is I'd like it a little more dimmable but that's the only thing but you know quite honestly at the 4000 K set setting is very similar to the other lights that I have so I really like it and it brightens up this part of my shop which was dark because of where the door is so hanging them here is just under the door height when I open the door and I'll be able to see to work on you know car or whatever projects I have. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.